Hello and welcome to Midi's Tech Circle. In today's video, we want to take a look at the new update or on a new update for the One UI. So I'm running the official Pi version. I have the Exynos model and um, yeah, I've got a new update for it here in Germany on my unlocked device. So before you all ask when you will get the update or just tell me that you didn't got the One UI in general and asking me for a date, I don't know why I don't have exact information. Um, so yeah, it could probably take uh, weeks or months until your carrier or in your region this update will be available. I know that um, the US still didn't receive the One UI update, which is pretty sad because uh, basically um, many or most regions and carriers already rolled out this update. But yeah, here we will take a look at the new February update so this contains of course the february sorry the february <laughs> um security patch and um, i've yeah made a, or took a screenshot here we can see further informations like um, this new build number it contains also a new kernel version so this is csb free and uh, this update had the size of 361 and 35 megabytes of course, here we have the first February 2019 as security patch and we have a change log which mentions, first of all, the biggest change here, that we have a schedule for night mode. Finally, it's there and you don't have to access it over the um, develop, developer options and you have more options right now because it's now integrated officially. Then um, they, yeah, they mentioned that they improve the stability of Wi-Fi, NFC, email, and gestures. And yeah, that overall the security was, uh, the security of your device is improved, of course. All right, so let's take a look at the changes I found. So of course, let's take a look at the most obvious thing we have also seen in the change log, which is the night mode schedule. So let's go over the quick setting to night mode. I can also go over settings, display, and night mode. And here you can already see that I have scheduled both things. I've scheduled blue light filter as well night mode. So when we go to the night mode option here, you will see that we have now a schedule. So basically in the first version of Pi and also in all other betas, we just had the option to turn it on now. Then I showed you also in a video that over the developer options, you can turn it on like a sun, sun automatically. There was, yeah, there was an option called automatically, which would be here the option sunset to sunrise. And now we also have the option to custom, uh, yeah, to make a custom schedule for it. That is amazing. That's nice. And, um, what it mentions here is that um, that when you have the schedule enabled, it to prevent interruptions, night mode will wait until the screen is locked and you unlock it, you know, then it will just change um, to night mode, for example, or switch back to the day theme. And that's just because like um, I'm playing Infinity Flight, the best flight simulator ever for Android and iOS. And um, for example, I, I tested that out um, or I also saw that when I was playing Infinity Flight and I switched or it switched to um, night mode um, because I locked it and unlocked it, the app froze and that could happen with many different apps. So, okay, but you have now a schedule here and that is amazing. Let's continue. The next thing they mentioned is gestures. So I will quickly switch back to um, gestures because I was using the nav bar. I don't, yeah, because I just like the nav bar too. I like both options and sometimes I just switch randomly. Okay, and gestures was also improved a bit smoother and also the animation. So when um, going back from an app, you know, it's just, um, okay, here we had the delay. Um, it's always like that in the camera, but um, yeah, just it's just overall 
much reacting much faster, you know, where the gestures are just faster. Let's say it like that. Okay, and the next thing I've noticed is we um, got a blur effect before when pulling down the notification shade and that is not go gone, now gone because also when we had this blur effect and we yeah, pulled it up, we didn't have that fade of the blur effect, you know? When you swiped it up, it faded away and get, got bl blurry. But when you swiped up, um, this was just an abrupt um, fade away, you know what I mean? Just check it on your device. But now they removed it completely, now it's more fluid. Also, I found a bug or some, yeah, not really a bug, but I found out that uh, when using the WQHD, so the uh, 1440 display resolution, so the highest one, not full HD. And um, before you had a lag when swiping down here on the um, quick settings from the lock screen, you always had a lag. And um, um, someone from, uh, from Discord server said that you could fix that um, by just switching from a static wallpaper to the infinity wallpaper, but now they fixed it and you don't get a lag. So just to show you, I am just on the highest resolution available. Here you can see screen resolution WQHD+. Yeah, and in overall, um, I don't know much about battery life. Um, so I used my phone intensively today um, with auto brightness and it was a sun it is a sunny day. So yeah, I have three hours, two minutes screen on time. I think they could still improve it um, on Exynos. Yeah, and ambient display is just always on display what I have learned. But yeah, um, it's stable as it was also in the version before, but it's, I think also much fluid, much more fluid um, apps are opening faster and also the launcher is uh, much faster than it was before and that's all I have to say. It's a nice update. Just wait until you get it. Maybe you guys from the US, you will get it directly um, because of the delay. You will get one UI directly with the February patch and night mode schedule and all these goodies. But yeah, that's all I have to say about the update here. Um, it's a nice update. Just I just recommend you to make this update. Uh, I mean, why shouldn't you update? And that's it. So... I hope you liked this video. If yes, please subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. Have a great day and I hope to see you soon here. Peace out. Take off.